So does anybody remember that clip? I think it was Corsair made during April Fool's, where it was an April Fool's joke. They made like the one launcher to capture all the launchers. And it's just one launcher with all the other launchers built in. So you don't have to think about your launchers. Well, GOG went and made it. GOG Galaxy 2.0, excuse me. And if you look, it uh, went through a process of integrating with Battle.net, Epic, GOG itself, Origin, PlayStation Network, Steam, Uplay, and Microsoft. And it had me log in and authenticate with each one of these uh, networks. It's still importing, you can see right here at the bottom. And now it just has everything in this one launcher. And you can check your installed games. So these are things that are installed right now. You can check the GOG only stuff, the Xbox only stuff, your Battle.net games, your Epic games, Origin games, <laughs> your PlayStation Network games, oh, right here on GOG, your Steam games, and it's still uploading thumbnails, or maybe some stuff doesn't have thumbnails, your Uplay games. Uh, it's kind of insane. Let me click Friends List. Does it do that with Friends List also? So I only have my GOG Friends List here. I don't know if there's any other options here. Let's go ahead and see what happens if I try to launch. I mean, I guess a GOG game, then obviously it'll launch the GOG game. Click installed here. Metro is definitely, this is an Epic game. Oh, you see what store it's on right here, Epic. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try to launch the Epic game. So, you says, so it says, please wait, we're launching an Epic game. See, Epic is at the bottom here. They're really trying to go for the end all be all. Oh, it's letting me know the new. Oh, because that's the Epic launcher letting me know what, what uh, the free game is. That is cool. Uh, this is super fascinating to me. Uh. Oh, I just restarted it. It looks like it's doing some kind of import again. I guess it crashed when I started alt f out of stuff to get out of uh, Metro. So let me see. What if I go to games, find something that's definitely not installed? The Gateway Armies. And this is a Steam game. If I tell it to install, what happens? Oh, it's launching Steam. It's just going to issue a Steam command to install the game, and it's just going to boom, go. That would be nice. That would be real nice. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's awesome. What's even crazier is, uh, I guess Steam is not fully open yet because I don't see any other like this is the only steam window open I'm gonna cancel it does it open steam at all or does it just wow that's kinda cool man if they could do some kind of friends list thing I am in <laughs>